Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a um, quick update to uh, what's happening and are we on track for the next version of Windows 10, which is the April 2019 update, and as it says here, should be released to most people, or to a lot of people, in April of 2019. There are a few questions and answers that I have from uh, users that I uh, thought would be interesting to uh, answer on this um, video. Now the first reason why I do a video here is we're pretty much a month away from insiders getting the real one, the real deal of the April 2019 update. So um, basically um, that means we're roughly a month away from what Microsoft will start to consider being the RTM or the official release for Windows uh, April 2019 update. We're still on the Insider previews. Uh, today there was a new build, 18.346. That means we're, we're still testing it. It's still not out. Uh, some people are telling me, well, I want it now. Can I get it? No, you can't. Unless you want to become an Insider, and that uh, is an all different story. Once again, uh, being an Insider, you got to know what you're doing. Don't just be an Insider because you want to be the first one to have a next version of Windows. Uh, it will and can cause issues and problems because insider previews are not yet finished. But we're getting closer. I mean, we're getting to the month of March in a couple of days. That means that we're also getting closer and closer to this release. Um, one of the um, question is when in April? We still don't know. Often it happens with Patch Tuesday, so of course that is a possibility but it doesn't mean that that's going to happen. It could happen at any time in April. You know, it's a full 30-day month. Um, what and how and will you get it immediately? It's always pretty much the same thing with Windows 10. You will get it in waves, and that's the start. The first few people that will get it are, you know, it's going to be slow because of many things. Because, first of all, I think they are going to be extra careful this time around with what happened with the two versions in 2018. So it's going to start rolling slowly. So a lot of you won't see it immediately. A lot of you, unless you push it or force it, what we call, won't have it right away. And it's all right. There's no rush. I always say there's no rush for having the latest version of Windows 10. It's OK. If your computer runs fine, you, you know, for the majority of people, it brings things that a lot of people won't even notice are there some new features, some new stuff that most of, you know, the users of Windows 10 won't actually really care about. The um, other question that uh, comes to mind, a lot of people are kind of worried, well, you know, if I don't have the October 2018 update, it might break my computer if it goes to April 2019 because I'll be missing some uh, stuff. You won't. This is not how upgrades work with Windows 10. People are still in the old mindset of when they install an update, well, it takes what I have and updates its files. And so I need the latest update to make sure that the next update works. Doesn't like doesn't happen like that in the um, Windows 10 version updates. They typically are pretty much full installs of Windows that simply move your programs and your files back into place once it's finished. It's not like upgrading a, um, you know, having an update to a version of Windows that requires previous updates to be installed. You could technically jump from the original version of Windows 10 to, for example, today's October 2018 update without any glitches. It would just upgrade you to the latest version and that's it. It wouldn't break anything. So there's no worries and uh, I think it's a lot of people worry about the fact that because of the messed up October 2018 update release that they might miss on the April 2019 or something might not go right. Don't worry. It, you know, Just let things happen the way they are going to happen um, and, and everything's going to be all right. Once again, I still get a lot of people saying, well, you know, is my computer still going to be able to run this version? Yes, it will. It will actually run faster. Like I said in previous versions, the Spectre and Meltdown mitigation, the new way of actually kind of blocking 
uh, bad guys from using or in exploiting the flaws in Spectre and Meltdown is actually much more efficient, meaning your PC will be faster probably after this update of the April 2019. And if there's one thing to look forward, that is probably the major thing to be for to be uh, happy about um, a faster PC thanks to that. And, um, you know, there are some new features as I uh, am uh, posting right now the different uh, reviews of the builds. Uh, if you want to see some of the features, I highlight one or two features every time I talk about a new build because there's really nothing new now happening in the Insider Previews because we're at the last stretch. They're in bug fixing mode right now. Uh, just look at these videos. You can look at previous um, videos of uh, Insider builds that I've uh, posted. They all show you some of the new features coming to the April 2019 update. So we're moving ahead. The schedule is still there. We're still, you know, for an April release for um, most people, for a lot of people. Uh, that also means you won't have it necessarily in April. It could be in May or June or July. At some point, it's going to come out. And as I always say, never force it. And uh, one of the main questions that uh, I had a few times, people say, what's the best way to actually prepare for this? Well, I think the most important thing, and the October 2018 update actually showed everybody that it's a very important thing. Back up all of your files on a hard drive, in the cloud, anywhere, but have copies of what you have on your PC somewhere else. Because you never know what could happen. In the April, the October 2018 update showed that some people lost their files. And you know what? It, and, and many tech um, people actually said, you know what, if you just had back up your stuff, it would not be that bad of an issue. It's just that people don't back up and people go nuts because they say, hey, I lost one terabyte of files. Yeah, well, why don't you have a copy of those files? It's immediately a problem and you're the problem, not the fact that you might lose them if you upgrade Windows backups are essential and they are always and they have always been essential as a tech guy for all the 18 20 years that i've done that i can tell you one thing um a lot of people were in trouble simply because they didn't back up and the majority of people don't back up and then when they lose stuff well they blame it on everything else except the fact that well you didn't do the most basic thing in your pc back up your files if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, hope you enjoyed this little update for the April 2019 update.